Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today uh, I'm going to show you how to set defaults on Windows 10 uh, if you do not know how to make Edge accessible and that will come in another video you can make Edge accessible but you may want to use IE or Firefox so this is how you go about doing it in Windows 10 hit your start key and you're going to type in settings Furtado. And it immediately comes up, so hit enter. Okay, so it's find a settings. These are defaults, and so once you go into your defaults, you can set everything else. I'm just going to show you how to do it with the internet, and then you can go change your other defaults. Okay, and then you're going to down arrow to default app settings. You don't even have to type the whole word default. Default. Okay. And if it does not speak to you, it is down twice or insert tab to force it. Search box, find the setting, default, search box, find the setting, edit, default, type of text. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, or you can just type out default app settings. It completely depends on how your talking software is speaking. Enter, choose default apps, email, maps, music, player, photo, viewer, video, player, web browser, reset to the Microsoft recommended default, email, okay. outlook, 2016 button to activate, press space bar. Okay, so I've already, and I've already set all of the, these up. So outlook, yep, that's what I want to use for email. Now, so I'm just going to tab through. Tab, maps, map, app, music, play, app, photo, viewer, app, video, player, app, web browser, Firefox, button okay. to activate, press space bar. So uh, it says to activate, hit space bar, and then it's going to open all your options. Now I've set Firefox as my default, so I'm going to hit my space, space bar. Toggle. Choose an app, Microsoft Edge button to activate, press space bar. Okay, so and of course, this is what they want you to use, and most don't want to, so just tab through. Tab, choose an app, choose an app, Firefox button to activate, okay. press space bar. So uh, this is the one I want to activate. I've already activated. Activated, but this is how you're going to do. So you hit your space bar. Now it automatically sets it in there because I've already used it. You're going to have to hit your space bar and let me actually just change it so you can actually see to uh, activate it. Let's just tab. Now it automatically selects with space bar. That was just a recent update on the computer. That that's not the way it worked uh, actually two days ago uh, before I would have to hit spacebar and then I would have to tab to uh, default it so do be aware of that so that's how you set your defaults now um, you can tab around and then you can go ahead and go down your tree view to all your other options I'm just going to quickly space, set this back and I'm going to tap down and space bar. Okay, let's tap around. And you can reset it if you really uh, mess it up too. Okay, now we go into your tree view. So you can find a particular setting in your whole computer or you can just go down the tree view and look at all your settings. Okay, and you can go up and down arrow here. Okay. Uh, so that's how you set your default settings on your Windows 10 machine so it will do exactly what you want it to do.